awkward it is for me to say it. I know it is the truth. You are witnessing a, uh, a technology meeting, a uh, underground sport that's um, tr truly uh, remarkable and made an enormous contribution to humanity across uh, planet Earth in terms of the methodology that Greg Glassman created, the lifestyle that Greg Glassman created, uh, putting the stopwatch to this. We are about to see something that is going to probably uh, change. No, not probably has changed the way things will be presented moving uh, here on out. And it is culminated in a way that really couldn't be any better for all who are involved. It is a three way tie as we go into what would have been the most boring part of the CrossFit game season has now turned into the most exciting part of the CrossFit game season. It is. Dallin Pepper, Jason Hopper, Taylor Self, all fighting for first place for $5,000 from California Peptides. You're watching Taylor Self versus the world in the Born Primitive CrossFit quarterfinals throwdown. But Colton Mertens, although he is out of contention for first place, he can throw an enormous wrench in it for the other guys. And I would say he is the front runner. But listen, you can go to live events very soon that will be just as exciting as this with other people who are just as excited. Think of this as going to an event with all your best friends, Carson, the, your best friends you've never known. Carson, May 24th to the 26th semifinals, the best in the world will be there. The best crowd in the world will be there. The best vendor village, the best family friendly events, also, Knoxville, the following weekend, if you're on the east side of North America, May 31st to June 2nd, you will know all the athletes. It will be a top-tier showcase of what you want to see. It's everything you're experiencing here on the Sevon Podcast in this final round, but it's live in person. Get your tickets now. There are the QR codes. Imagine me promoting this of all fucking people. They didn't give us they didn't give us money to promote it. I'm promoting it because I've been to these semifinal events and I know they're off the hook. I did many years at Carson. I'm telling you, from the most toxic man in CrossFit, from someone they had to send out a four-page email to staff to let people know that they didn't, they they weren't affiliated with me. I'm telling you, still go to their event. You know why? Because it's going to be dope, and the people who go there are dope. You are looking at the big camera, the big camera. That's CrossFit Crash, home of the Crash Crucible and Crash Crescendo, which will be happening next week. It is the most infamous, notorious, and high-caliber events that are non-sanctioned by CrossFit, put on by J.R. Howell, maybe the most respected man in all areas of the CrossFit space. Also on the top of the screen in the left-hand corner, you see John Young from JY Barbell. He's the man, senior analyst in the CrossFit space, a dear friend to everyone, a beloved character, a super knowledgeable, a cornerstone of every great show. And then, of course, Bill Grundler, the easiest person to commentate with who ever walked the planet from CrossFit Inferno in San Luis Obispo, California. Known Bill for over 15 years. This is the dream team. These are the two guys I would love to just die commentating with. You have uh, four boxes <laughs> and you have four dudes. John, what are they about to do? About to do three rounds of 50 wall balls and 50 burby box jump overs. And John, what is the fastest time we will see? We're going to see 15, 54. John, you are so smart. Dude. You it's are aggressive. so smart. Fisa Goffey just did the workout in 16, 16, 15. 16, 15. Uh, I think the fastest 15. time we've heard is from 
1558. I'm gonna say 1558. I'm changing it. 1558. Okay, 1558 from John Young. And the fastest time I think we've seen is a 1610 from something. Tim Paulson. Paulson. Tim, Tim Paulson. Paulson. Okay, so the fastest time we've seen so far, and there aren't a lot. There aren't a lot of times out. This is just through the network of of tattletales. Uh, is Tim Paulson at uh, 1610? Uh, Bill Grundler, former games athlete. Oh, man, you know what? It, I, I'll tell you, Tim Paulson threw a wrench in the mix of the time frames for sure. And you know that, huh, John? And tell me why. Tell me why, Bill. Why? Because, I mean, Tim Tim is a power output athlete. I would never really pick him as a... He, was he a had Hepner's player. time in mind, and then he saw Tim Paulson. Right. Totally. And then that threw it all out. So Meaning he's um, a big, strong guy, and he got a world-class time for a yeah. workout that requires speed, that's agility, and duration. Bike. Not a right. long 150 burpee box jump overs. Um, so because of that, I think that... Um, these guys, I think it's actually it makes it bad for them too because that that shows how hard they have to go. So I'm gonna undergun you a little bit there, John. Wow. Would you say 48? You said would you say 15? I said 1558. I'm going 45. 1545. 1545. You said I was aggressive. <laughs> well, I know, but I mean, but that's the whole thing. I mean, it was aggressive earlier until we saw what Fee did. And, and yeah. here's here's the thing. I think if you watch the way Fee stepped off the box, and that's a shorter athlete too. I think that that's something that Matt Torres probably worked with her with. And then Dallin's going to have that same strategy, but it's shorter. The box is shorter. The wall ball height is shorter it. for women. I get it. I get for it. Women. It should be. And that's why, that's why I'm, I know these guys, I Dallin know for, height. for the most part, these guys are fitter than fee. Um, but the range of motion is longer down for I, the height. Yeah. He'll be able to do that. Like uh, that little hop bump onto the box and that the way that fee stepped off, I, I'm interested to see if that's going to be specific just to fee or if that is a, Hey, here's the strategy. Cause she stepped off the same exact place every single time, even in that last set where she was flying I, boys. Let me, let me throw something in here, Mr. Bill and Mr. John. I think fee rested over a minute during that workout. And I think some of the boys are going to rest less than a minute. Uh, one minute less than she rested. So if she got a six, uh, 16, 16, I want to propose to you guys to rethink your numbers and to know that, to know that a 15, 16 is what we're going to see after this commercial. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Four distinct athletes, so different than each other. The great Colton Merton's putting on a showstopper uh, a couple weeks ago, doing 100 burpees, uh, bar-facing burpees, I want to say in three minutes and 14 seconds. And these guys don't think that they're going to beat Fee's time by a minute. What's wrong with Mr. Bill and Mr. Young? Uh, use code SAVAGE20, get $20 off at the Born Primitive site now. That code will not last forever. SAVAGE20, they are the shoes that Taylor Self is wearing. Taylor Self is all decked out in all of the Born Primitive gear. Go ahead, Bill. Defend it. Or or, or be like, hey, Sevy, you know, you have a point. You're the you're the more handsome and smarter version of me. You, you are the, yeah, the more handsome and the tendered version of me, right? The catfish version. No, <laughs> dude, okay. That's, that is not going to happen. Like if you have guys like Hepner, you have guys like what Tim Paulson did. You're gonna you're gonna get a minute on that. No, dude, not gonna happen. Uh, All right, great. Final right, final predictions then. Okay, I'm gonna change mine. Are you saying I influence you? Are you saying I influence? He, you? Yes, John. Yep. 
Yeah, Sevon absolutely influenced me. He absolutely influenced me. I'm rolling with my original guess of 1554. I think four seconds faster after Sevon Salo. Listen, 1516, you're going to see it. I don't know who, but you're going to see it. Justin Zimbo, a great question. Uh, Let's talk about the flooring. We haven't talked about that. Uh, What is that flooring? Uh, Mr. Brandstetter? Tyler Watkins? Anybody? Did you ask Tyler something? <laughs> uh, no, we asked you something, Will. Will, oh. what is that flooring? Is that turf? That is turf, yes. And, Very and, thin. It's, uh, yeah, not thick turf at all. So they get gr- good, they're getting good energy transfer from pushing off the ground? They're getting the best energy. I've never seen greater energy off this ground. It's uh, <laughs> tremendous. <laughs> Trump 2024. <laughs> You heard yeah, it. He's here. Trump's here. Just walked uh, in the house. We were not supposed to reveal that. Uh, the Secret Service is there in full effect. Justin Zimbo, great question from Salty Hive CrossFit in Utah. Hey, what about this? Tim Paulson, they call him T-Rex, short arms. Maybe that's why he did so well, because burpees are his game because he has shorter range of motion. Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, no, right. dude. No. no. Okay, okay, okay. But it was a good uh, try, though. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lindsay McKnight, thanks for all you do. You're welcome. You're welcome. You, you're, I got up this morning, Lindsay, and I was like, you know what? I'm fucking knocking it out of the park for Lindsay today. Heidi, let's go, Colton. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Grundler. Yes, sir. Um, thanks for showing up for the big show. Yeah, absolutely. I, I know you're getting your hair done, nails done, manicure, everything, uh, hey, facial. Hey, see, look, at, look at that. Look at that. To prepare for the big show with Both the big times. numbers. Yeah. Um, tell me, uh, who's uh, what's your placement for these uh, guys? Um, uh, John believes it's going to be Taylor, Colton, Dallin, Jason. That is not what I said. Oh. <laughs> um, I know everyone's going Taylor, and I... I said... Man, I'll tell you what, first. Taylor... Taylor, well, we agreed. You were the only one that said Dallin, but I was with you yesterday on Dallin. I think Dallin has this, and I think Dallin has this because... and I, They're all making fun of your engine, engine. I know what you're talking about, and this is this is a different. It's just the a real long ones know, Bill. slog. Exactly. Um, I think that he has that, plus the length is going to help him on the box height, on the wall. I mean, the wall balls will be the wall balls, but on that box height to step down all that night, he's he does have a great engine. Can he go to a dark place? Sure. Can Does Taylor have more of that? Yeah, because Taylor will go full full R mode for full sure. Full drug addict, full drug but, addict mode. But I see Dallin first. I see Colton <laughs> second because Colton hasn't had a chance, and I was listening to Spin earlier. I don't think that he's a step off. I think that he his grip is off, but there's no grip that's here and he even said that he hasn't been able to showcase his fitness yet and this will be the, his chance to be able to do that so i think there's a little bit of uh um vindictiveness that he's got he's got you know he's got to come back and i think he he wants that and this is his so there's a pride element in there taylor's just gonna go crazy i think that'll be fun and i think jason's gonna be picking up the pieces after that yeah like, and nobody's do, do picking think- colton either like I'm picking, I'm picking. I'm picking Colton. He's the only one. Someone pointed this out. I don't know if it's you, John, or Spin. Someone pointed out Colton's the only one who has not won a workout. Oh no, it was Jr. Yep. Everyone's won a workout, not yep. Colton. This one's his. We know it. I wish you guys would acquiesce to that. Fifteen, sixteen for Colton Mertens. Luis Lemos, nineteen ninety nine. Thank you. You were <laughs> watching them measure out the space from the wall to some piece of tape. What's that about, Mister Bill? Uh, they got a five foot distance um, minimum between the box. Yeah, that's that's been the the quarterfinal standard five minute distance between everything. So oh five foot five foot okay five and then, foot, and then yeah. and then there's a tape where the outside of the tape is ten inches from the wall and they can't be outside that tape enforcing this, uh, them to be close to the wall. Yeah, they don't want they don't want someone to use. Oh no, that's only for handstand push. That's for the handstands that you're talking about. Okay. But I'm talking about the the box. They want to make sure that no one can go any closer than that amount. So I mean, okay. you can get the box wherever you want, but you can't go any closer than that. And the height of the box, John. 24. 24 inches. And uh, both feet have to be on the box at the same time? Yes. If you're uh, landing on the box, yes. And you, you can clear it. You're allowed to clear it. Oh, so you're allowed to clear it or both feet on it, not one foot. Yes. Yep. And if you clear it, both feet have it's, – it's a weird thing. You have to step down unless you clear the box. Then it's a two-foot landing. If you drink coffee, now's the time, 40% off. This is the last window. And then the deal will be over.
John, tell us the workout. We're seconds away from starting, people. Three rounds, 50 wall balls, 50 burpee box jump overs. You can do it any way you want to do it. It says lateral, but you can you can do it any way you want to do it as long as you jump and as long as you step down. Bill, would you like to see someone go completely unbroken on the wall balls in this first round? Sure, I'd love to see it, but I don't think that would be the smartest thing to do by any means. Will they uh, all break? I wish they had... What's that? Will, do you think they will all break? Yeah. I do too. Yeah, 100%. I wish they would have had Colton in the middle, though. Are they Colton Merton's on the left uh, from Proven Training? Jason Hopper from HWPO uh, to the right of him in the second spot. In the third spot, we have Dallin Pepper from Brute Strength, and then the man himself. The wor the whole event's named after Taylor Self versus the World on the right. Sentinel Training founder. Ten seconds. And countdown. we're off. Oh, 10 second countdown. Thank you, Will. Clock in the lower left hand corner is not official. Three, two, yeah, one. And they're off. Colton throwing his ball high. You know, I'm really glad they changed that uh, that standard, wherever that uh, when they re refined it to where it's just the ball has to be above Matter the line, not the entire thing. I thought that was yeah. so dumb. It's just, it's just too hard to judge hit. that anyway. Yeah. So they have to hit the white. It has to be above that red line. The mass of the ball has to be above that red line. Okay, and that's a, that makes it a 10-foot target. That was 15. Taylor's right? stopping at 15. 15 Colton's stopping at 15. That's not a bad choice. Allen I mean, it really 20. doesn't matter here, I don't think. Jason's not broken. Gosh, I just feel like 50 is the wrong call here, Bill. 100%. 100%. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Was he going 30? Was 25, 25 or 30? Okay. Has Dallin broken? Yeah, yeah. He, he broke at 20. And I think I bet Dallin is going to go almost exactly what Fee did. I, I, I agree completely. I mean, if he had such a great finish that I think he's just going to he's going to take that template and just run with but it. Less rest in the wall balls. How about the final round? Will someone try to do all fifty in the final round? No, no way. No, because no, you need that last box jump set. That's where you. That's that's the whole race. Like Fee negative splitted her two rounds. By almost because, twenty seconds, dude. On because, on the box jumps. Yeah, yeah. Because her wall balls were behind. Forty five reps. Hey, and what do you do during your break? You count your breaths. You're like, okay, this is a one breath Holy break. First one. Ooh. So, so that's a good sign for Colton because this the the, the burpee box overs are going to be his bread and butter, correct? And so, if he's off the wall balls first, that's a good sign. Well, it depends because did he push the wall balls too much? That's that's the question. Um, sure, it's great that he got there, but did he did he? take too much out of the gas tank to get there because he doesn't need that he'll do great on these box jumps god he is stout so he is he's going slightly faster than Dallin right now yeah i think for colton i i really honestly believe he's gonna try to rabbit out there and just be like all right guys chase me try to bait people i don't yeah. do you think that's the right call though because i feel like well see that's why i was wishing that's why i was wishing he was in the middle because if he was i bet he could bait people but he's so far away and no one sees him well and the thing is they don't have to beat him to get the prize money no i know but we're just talking about him in this event i Ooh, like did you see the way his foot just bare watch when he comes over here watch colton mertens on the left hand he side kind of has to do like a roundabout on his leg so you don't have to get your whole foot on there just a little piece of it yeah, yeah. you just have to get your feet on there yeah I did okay, that little Jason's using too, the same I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss <laughs> that little hop like that. I do think Colton's at a faster pace. Yeah, but I think Dallin is pacing himself right now. If he wanted to, I think he could go faster than this. I think Dallin is going to try to increase his burpee box jump speed or stay Dallin's the same. Just five. Dallin's halfway through. Just like, just like Fee did, she stayed the exact same until her last 50. I think Dallin's going to, exactly what Bill said, do the exact same thing. Yep. Colton's at 30. Dallin and Taylor are about the same speed, about exactly the same speed right now. Taylor's Dallin, at 27. Slightly faster, down slightly faster. Last year, Jason Hopper showed up to the games weighing 230 pounds. He said he does not want to be this big when he reaches the game, that big when he reaches the games this year. Dude, look at Jason and Down. Yeah, yeah I was like just thinking that. I know. I was trying to see who was going faster. Jason's up on him. Looks like bit. Hopper. Hopper's slightly faster than Dallin. Yep. Jason's Colin's, at 35. Colin's taking a peek at the competition. 
I mean, that is the one thing that Colton has for him is he knows he can see. Colton's at 40. Dude, they're going, they're, they're not going to hold this. They're going sub 15 pace right yeah, now. Allen's about to finish up. He's at 49. And wow. Oh, wait, Sevon oh, four, is right. 39, so now he's at 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that wasn't at 49. No way. Colton was, Colton's the guy. Taylor's be, at 39. Yeah, okay, okay. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> uh, there's no deviation uh, in any of Colton's box jumps. He's holding a steady speed. What's impressive with Colton is watch how high his legs have to come. I mean, with that, with that just being shorter, Colton's how much he has balls. to step coming at 444. Wow. I'm going to say 443. Jason and Dallin are tied with three left to go. Uh, Libby du uh, Budak. Budak, what a great last name. Let's go, Taylor. Dollar ninety nine. Thank you. Dude, Colton is ahead, man. Tim Brown, thanks for the content. Got my Jason savage ones second. today. Yeah. Wow. Hopper's gonna win. Can you take that off so I can see splits? Seven. <laughs> yep. Sorry. <laughs> I love yeah, I, I think he was like five minutes about. Yeah, about five minutes. Taylor five ten. One thirty nine Canadian. Wow. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Thank you, Leo. Every dollar counts. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Nineteen ninety nine. Hands down, the best content in the space. Big thank you for putting Dude, up all this together. They are all on fifteen minute pace, so it's just who they're not going to hold this pace. No. Okay. Now watch what. Remember what Fee did. This was her recovery round, so she mm -hmm. could have that negative split on the last round. And I think that that's just going to be way more important. Ooh. See, Colton the looks, there for looks Colton. more tired. That was a two breath break. This is down 25 for Dallin. Now, now I want to say like this is too fast for all of them. It's right. not just it's not just Colton. What will be interesting is okay. So we already we've talked so much about how Taylor, Taylor is good in that black and going to that dark place. And that he was come the about slowest the and round. almost the most paced on that first round. Uh, either sure. he was the most paced or he was the slowest. I think he was the most paced. He took the most breaks in the wall balls, and yeah. his speed was slightly slower than Dallin's. He yeah. was slightly slower than Jason, who was slower than Colton. Third break for Colton. That's right. It's 50. I mean, and That's so, okay. and like Fee, Fee's first round was 457. They are all on five minutes. Taylor was 510. Right. And then Colton was 444. Which is going like to set Colton. up perfect for my... 15, wow. is what I said. 640. He starts the box. But Jason, Jason's right there with him. Holy cow. And he had a 16 second lead on Jason. Wow. <laughs> Jason is way impressing me right now. Yeah, I tell you, if he if he hangs like this in this event, then he it's like he's become a completely different athlete. And this he whole deserves, weekend, he deserves to win. Yeah, yeah, well said. Hundred percent. Uh, we have a three-way tie going into this event. The winner will get five thousand dollars. The people in the tie are Jason Hopper, Dallin Pepper, and Taylor Self. We are halfway through the workout, almost just shy of halfway through the workout. Uh, Colton Mertens does not have a win in the quarterfinals between uh, these guys at the Born Primitive CrossFit quarterfinals. Colton Dude, would love Colton, to get a win. Colton is just going ballistic, man. Yeah. <laughs> if Colton gets 15 16, Colton's at 16. <laughs> Down's uh, at 13. This is three rounds, 50 wall balls. Taylor's at 12. 20 pound ball, 10 foot target, and then 50 of the burpee box jump overs. Three rounds. When Colton finishes these box box overs, he'll have one round left, one complete round left, hundred reps. Colton's now, first round was four forty three or four forty four. The thought was he couldn't keep it. He did slow down on the wall balls a little bit. And right now, him and Dallin are about rep for rep. Where is Colton number wise? He was, what do you mean? Oh, he, uh, well, he, like rep wise, where is he right now? Oh, um, um, that's a that's a hint. That's not a hint. And that's not for you. <laughs> that's for Will. Sorry. <laughs> the hint is received. Hint is inbound to the answer. 
Got it, well, got it. Just tell us, Will. Gosh. I don't know, bro. <laughs> but I at least, hey, I, we won't get the rep, but we'll know the the uh, <laughs> the rate at how many seconds per. Yeah. That's yeah, way more important, like, okay. but we don't know what number we're on. I asked for okay. how many reps, and then Will gives me a math problem. Colton with 10 reps seconds left. Per. Colton's at Col 35. Oh, damn. Uh, top time, sub-15. You heard it here first. Claire, let's go, Taylor. Thank you, Heidi, for your input. Natalie, let's go, boys. Man, I tell you, the one who's thrown the wrench and everything, especially my Heat 1 score, is Jason Hopper. Jason. He's ruined it for me. I'm getting murdered because Colton of him. And down, Colton and Jason are both at 40 reps. Oh, my gosh. What Dude. has happened to Taylor's box? How did it get cockeyed? Just because he's jumping on it. Like, see how he jumps all yeah, the way to the side? It's shifted, so it's, yep. Yeah, shimmying. Dallin's at 39. Taylor's at 38. Colton slowing down, Colton taking a look at Hopper. Tired, Hopper man. is not slowing down. Hand up for Colton and Jason. Dude, oh my Jason goodness! Is insane. Colton, insane. Uh, did Hopper just look back at Colton? Dude, he looked under his left arm, I think, to see where Colton's at. One more for Hopper. T Bird, two. Colton, ten nineteen. Colton, ten nineteen. Wow. 10, 23 for Jason. A two second, three second split. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's crazy. Three left for Dallin. Look how close Down's feet are when he comes over on this. Dude, oh, Down looks slow too. Here, but... yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a $5,000 race between hey, Jason Hopper and Colton Mertens. Colton Mertens taking a prolonged break. Wow. Longer than longer than all the breaks in the first round combined he just took in his first break. Hopper also putting his hands on his knees. So during the wall balls right now, even though these these two guys are virtually tied, uh, Colton and Jason, what these what Jason's they both have to be thinking is okay, I can't I have Colton's to conserve as much as possible so that I can go as fast as possible on Dallin, the box. no rep. Wow. There's wow, no, no rep for seen. Dallin. Yeah. 14 for Taylor. Small sets for Colton over on the side. Very small. Big 30 break. for Jason. So, hey, hey, uh, Jason, Jason had the fastest round by 13 seconds on that last one. Right. He was Colton's 523 and Colton was 536. And then Taylor was 538. And then uh, Dallin was 545. I think this is Colton's fourth or fifth Ten break. Ten left for Hopper. Ooh, Hopper's down. Yeah, yeah Hopper is down. Hopper's is he... down. And look at the short, look at the small Taylor's sets that Colton's doing. Like he sets might have of five. enough of a lead, though. It won't matter. Colton's at 40. Ten, I think both of them are just thinking, okay, I five need to be Hopper. able to handle the box jump, so I need to conserve as much as possible. Like, the last thing you want to do is blow your legs out on the wall balls because who cares about the wall balls? Nobody. Hopper's about to get five thousand dollars, dude. Last fifty for Jason Hopper. Yes, wow, dude. wow. Three reps right. ahead of Colton Mertens. Colton Mertens, it's a it's a race, people. But here's the thing: if him and Colton are racing, even if Colton wins. Like he's got, man, he's like a ten burpee lead on Down and Taylor both. Yeah, those guys. Jeez, dude, MVP award already. Whether he's won or not is Jason Hopper. He'll have crushing two. this weekend. Harley mom, four ninety nine. Matt O'Keefe in the house, four hundred ninety nine dollars. Biggest donation of the week. Thank you, Matt. Car, ten dollars. Thank you. So is Jason a rep up still? One rep? No, he's like ten reps up. Oh, Thirteen for Colton. Thirteen for Colton. How many for Jason? No, he's not more than three reps ahead of Colton. Fifteen for Hopper. Oh, dude, it's gonna come down to the end. Yeah, I. Colton Colt looks better. It up. He's Colton picking it up. looks a lot better he's right picking now. Picking it up. Yeah, they dude, I think Colton's gonna do it, man. Oh man, here he goes. Our, he might have put the juice on too early, though. Like, like 
He's got 35 more burpees. <laughs> he, he doesn't care. He doesn't oh, care. Hopper adjusting his box, taking a deep breath. Hopper's still in the lead, though, to get, win the $5,000. No, I think Colton, Colton might have caught. Oh, you're right. You're this right. You're is, right. This is it right here. I think they just. I think this ties it up, this rep. Right, I think they're tied. Over Colton. How many? 34. 23 for Hopper. 24 Colton's 34. taking the lead by two. Ah, oh, Colton's up. Colton has made up the three reps. He started three reps later to the box. Jason had a three rep lead on him. Looks like Colton has closed the lead and passed Hopper. Hopper just has to stay ahead of Dallin and Taylor to win the Born Primitive CrossFit quarterfinals here on Taylor Self versus the Come World. Come on, Hopper. Come on. Dude, he is dude, he is like full blown Icarus right now. That guy is flying so close to the sun, riding that line like crazy. But that's perfect. Dallin's making a move. Dallin's, Dallin is now doing them faster than Jason. 30 for Hopper. 34 for Colton. Colton's opened Col up a four rep lead. Wow. wow. Colton's due. He's got it. We will pass the 15 minute, 16 oh, second man. time. Hopper, you, chasing... got you got 15 burpees for $5,000 right now, man. How many for Dallin, Will? I, there's no way he's caught. He's 40 reps no... for Colton. Well, there went 37 for Hopper. I just want to say, Getting how many for Dallin? Colton's now. got it. Colton's got it. Look at him. The ugly Bill Grundler was wrong. <laughs> 30 for Dallin. <laughs> Taylor, come on, dude. Great freaking four job, left Colton. for Colton. Oh no, Hopper. Let's go, man. You know, Dallin's trying to make a move. There goes your Taylor's time, really Dang hurting. It. Just put his Dang hands it. on his knees. Two Taylor took a break. Oh, don't Colton. tell me I called it exactly. Give it to me, Colton. Get over that box. Oh, no. Oh. One second off. <laughs> One second off. One second off. <laughs> Five left. Four left for Hopper. Dude, I'm so impressed by Jason Hopper. I'm so, so impressed, impressed by you, John. Oh, he Young. jumped down. That's a no rep. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to step. Did he just jump down again? Come on, Judge. Tell him to step. 1622 oh, for Hopper. Oh. oh, my goodness. Hopper thought he was done. Hopper thought he was done at 1622. Forced another rep. 60. Oh, my goodness. Hey, big, big screen, big screen. Where's Down and Taylor right now? Taylor is hurting, hurting, oh, hurting. Dang, that was a break. That's the Five second break Dallin. I've seen him take. Dang Taylor, you, you know how are they going to do that one with uh, with Jason Hopper? Hopper? What was the what he, was he the... had to do an extra one? He just, I think they just made him do an extra one. Well, I mean, I hope they make him step one off that way, and that that's okay. Oh my goodness, is Taylor, Taylor done? Dallas, Dallas is Taylor done at seventeen? No, Taylor's not done. Taylor. Oh hurting. my goodness, he's white as a ghost. I mean, more white than normal. <laughs> oh man, you know we're going to see puke after this, dude. I don't know. This is a different feeling. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> David Dang. Weed, hard work yeah. pays off. HWPO, Jason Hopper, showing that it truly does. Even Taylor was oh saying my that Jason's working harder than ever. For you, Bill. Like Taylor doesn't train near as much as these guys. Right. Do you think? Um, do you think the weekend is catching up? Yeah, or at no? forty-three. It's just the. It's just what the I workout believe. is. Uh, I don't think it's the weekend. I think it's the intensity that he's going that he's. That's my to go. point. Like he yeah. doesn't train. And yeah, like, I mean, you look at his legs; they're done. Like you I think he I mean? almost hyperextended his leg on that one. Taylor is wobbled. He looks like because a UFC fighter. This isn't fighter. the Taylor that we know. No. Ooh. Hey, is it the volume wow. of the week catching up to him? I think it's the intensity. I don't think it's the volume. I think it's the intensity. I mean, he works out, so we know he does that. But the level that he's pushing to hang with these oh, guys. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh clip my goodness! That. Clip that. We need that clip. Oh my goodness! Uh, Patrick on, Vellner. Patrick Vellner, there's a meme for you. Come on, buddy. You're watching the born primitive Taylor oh, Self versus no the world. That's Taylor no Self. Oh, 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 oh midget. What the this fuck? poor guy? Hey, something's going on with his legs. They've turned off. I think his brain did too. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Jr. Howell giving the hard talk to Taylor Self. Jason Hopper still on his back. Colton pacing. Come on, buddy. Dude, that step down is killing him. It's so bad. Yeah. 
And that's the, if you're not used to that, that is totally different. Come on, Taylor. Oh, this post-fight interview is going to be insane. $5,000 to Jason Hopper One more from CA Taylor. Peptides. $5,000. <laughs> he is not well. Come on, Taylor. But yes. The oh, oh, my goodness. My gosh. The fact oh, he my goodness. still jump up there. Wow. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we will Absolute be back punish. shortly. Uh, the CA Peptides website is down. If you'd like to make an order, use code word SEVON. Use code word SEVON. And you'll get 10% off and a free bottle or two of the barrio static water. The information and content provided here are available for makeover only and are not intended or to be considered substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Views and opinions expressed do not reflect those of medical professionals or medical use. Duh. This is called Melanotan 2. It's supposed to accelerate tanning, and it's also supposed to increase sexual arousal. And I think that the second one is actually more of a side effect than it is the main goal. Everybody wants to know how to reconstitute these things. Remember, the first thing is that you need the bacteriostatic water. The second thing that you need to do is you are constantly using these alcohol swabs. Now, here's the thing. You got two separate needles. Never reuse the same needle. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put two milliliters of water into there. It's just sucking the water in there. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's how you know that the peptides are good. Now, I'm insane, so I like to re-sterilize the top of it. I just put the pad on there and I just twist it. And I'm just gonna go right here, right next to my belly button. So I pull this out, put the tip in. Yeah, just the tip. Make sure there's no air bubbles in there. So you give it a flick, the bubbles rise to the top. Pull this out, and then I just stick it in my stomach right there. Very slight little pinch. It's like the world's smallest bee. It doesn't even matter. I'm done, just like that. John Young showing us why he is the best. Cheeky Mock also sees it. Yay, Colton. John is good. Uh, the event has just finished. We will be going to a post-fight interview very shortly here. Uh, someone in the comments, it looks like Taylor's wife minutes, is worried. Taylor. He's being stripped down. Dallin is rehydrating. I don't know where Jason Hopper is. Colton is probably pretty happy that he got the win. Uh, JR will be tallying up the placement. I do think that that was enough for Colton Mertens to get the $2,000 second place prize. Uh, you see uh, from the Brute Strength podcast there holding the camera, uh, 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 Micah uh, Sh Schumacher. Shoemaker. Uh, <laughs> Taylor is finally moving. Uh, Matt Torres is over there talking to Dallin Pepper. Rick Jones, the in-house uh, photographer and videographer for CrossFit Crash, crosses the screen in the orange hat. What a phenomenal uh, finale. Uh, any surprises, John? Um, I think Hopper is the biggest surprise fitness-wise. Um, <clears throat> I think it. I think it's beautiful programming that one of the guys, each one in event, and I mean, that speaks to the programming. I know we were Don't ruin it. That. We're going to talk about this tonight. Yeah, Don't ruin it. I'm not it. going to. I'm not going to. But I just want to say it's beautiful programming. And then, um, I mean... Taylor's the biggest shock of this workout. Uh, <laughs> wow. Even more. So Taylor's p Taylor is a more of a shock than Jason. Uh, Jason's uh, amazing performance to blow up that bat. I mean, this was a rich froning 2010, like implosion. Um, I, everybody picked Taylor to win or second, right? I don't think anybody picked Taylor not to be top two. Um, I, do. I don't think anybody saw that coming. I don't think Taylor saw that coming. I think Taylor thought he was pacing it right perfectly. Like he's really good at knowing his body and his body. Well, look at him right now. Yeah. I mean, all I'm looking at is that boom mic. Look at, look at how, look at, look at this production value. I, that's probably just a prop to make it look like we know what we're doing. I, Bill, I, yeah. <laughs> Bill, what's the biggest surprise? I didn't hear shit from that mic. Uh, what's, what's the biggest uh, surprise here? Uh, John, I, I would have thought it was Jason, but John brings up a good point. No, I, I think, I mean, it is. It's shocking to see the the drastic effect of this event on Taylor, for sure. Um, we know he can push to dark places, and this is one of the things about having that high pain threshold is you run right past the red line, and you just keep on trucking until you bury yourself down to the ground like that. Um, and as, as dramatic as that is, I still think that the shocker is Jason Hopper because virtually everybody picked Jason last. So if Jason's that is last like that, and he was at one point pushing Colton Mertens, come, I mean, I mean, he got he made a 16 second gap coming out of the first round and into the second round, and then was hanging on like that to just be behind Colton Mertens in 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 
in an event that you would never think Jason Hopper could do anything of the such. That was the biggest shock to me and the biggest yeah, surprise. This one in workout three, Hopper did things that we did not expect Should him not to do. have been doing. He is and a then, different person. Different and workout athlete. four, we expected him. We didn't expect him to do that. So right. on, on the, <laughs> the clean and jerk workout. Right. I think, um, and like when they games prep, They'll start bringing that stuff back. All That's what you do. All year, you work your weaknesses. And then a month before the games, you start doing the stuff that you were good at to make sure everything is back to norm, you know, back baseline. So, I mean, when this type of gymnastics in slash aerobic engine, that's a uh, CrossFit stuff, not just running and rowing and biking. Right. And then you get Hopper's 365 clean and jerk back. That's a scary dude. Well, uh, then, we we have a, a a a fan that you can see blowing. Someone's brought a fan over to Taylor Self. He was doing that thing that you do when you're wounded and your legs start wiggle, wiggling around. He got an ice pack on his chest. Bryson Del Monte tending to him, uh, rolling over onto his side. That's a good sign that he's rolled over onto his side. Ooh, nope, back to maybe. his back. Uh, I want to show you if we can. If uh, if um, I got you. Okay, if Caleb can help. Oh, thank you. Uh, what you're going to see here is uh some of the drama that uh taylor was going through here his legs he, he was locking out his knees there before this jump uh <laughs> to his I've, back I, dude 16 years of a crossfit affiliate i've never seen that ah uh, kalipa's his... had to look like that before no, no, that's not a backwards. kalipa like no, dude not backwards not like that i the the testament to taylor on this one is that he shut down like Dude, it takes a warrior to push that yeah, hard. Yeah, my favorite part is the rebirth. Let's what? let's watch that. I wonder if I can slow this down. Uh, Dear normal speed. Just came, he just came into my, well, he just said into my ear. That is the closest I've ever seen someone to dying in a CrossFit workout. So this is <laughs> this is it. This is at quarter speed here. Look, watch when he stands. He has a, he he's not he's trying to avoid using any muscle in his leg. He he's like locks out his knees a little bit, and then he gets a quick bend. And he it can't just, get them. It's just too deep. Yeah, Lanny was too deep, and his butt just pulls him back. <laughs> yeah, as Danielle Brandon Boom. would say, too deep. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> so yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was Danielle Brandon? <laughs> yes. Yeah, what you, did you played that, and I thought you clicked on porn, Savon. No, I don't watch <laughs> porn. Porn's disgusting. It was a splinter, John, you, you dirty son of a bee. <laughs> yeah, it was a splinter. You're gross, John. Okay. Uh, Fergie show, uh, carnage everywhere except, uh, for Colton. He is looking for a sandwich. I, I, dude, I was shocked. I thought Colton was starting to implode. That whole second round was like a charade. I uh, he, that's what Fee did too. You know, he did exactly dude. what Fee did on his splits. If you look at Colton's splits, right. he was 444. Colton looks so good right 536 now. and then 535. Yeah. He did exactly what Fee did, but just, you know, at a faster rate. Uh, Tyler Watkins from the Heat One app. Uh, we will have winners probably next week. Uh, the winner will get twenty five hundred dollars for those of you who are smart enough to play. Uh, how close are we, Tyler, to um, the interviews happening? Are we five minutes? Well, Taylor's might not happen until tomorrow. It looks like um, <laughs> <laughs> Colin's ready to go now. The other guys, I don't know where they are. It's uh, a Taylor self versus yeah. the world. He's got he's got to get out there. Hey, what was it like out there? Um, watching Taylor I was hurt holding like that. that camera. So like up in Taylor's face, I like same thing. Jr. said I've never seen anyone sell out like that. Like, but that wasn't Jr. Stop. It looked like Jr. But it's actually Bill Grunler. <laughs> or did Jr. say it too? Did Bill say that? Anyway, yeah. Oh yeah. I I've never been able. I've never seen anybody sell out like that. Like to stop moving. Like you just lose control of your functions. Are you kidding me? Uh, that that was that was pretty wild, and and he didn't even have any energy to fight it. He just went up no. there and came back. He didn't flail. He it was just like it was like a uh, like, here I go. I'm yeah, going. Yeah, a, a knockout punch. A great question here from Pool Boy. I'm worried this will knock Taylor out. Uh, Ooh, meaning that is uh, out of semifinal question. contentions. Uh, thoughts no on that, John? I don't know. I I don't think. I think it will make it interesting. I thought Tyler had or Taylor had no problem making semifinals, and then I did, but I didn't see it exploding like that. Um, I it's I really, don't really think hard he'll do it say. again. I don't think he'll do it again. Dude, so that would be after Saturday. Be so after tonight, after tonight, when we do our update show, we we will know. 
Oh, I think we'll yeah. know if we if he, if he makes semifinals, we will know. We will have so much of a better, more clear picture after tonight when the scores roll in. Jedediah Snelson, CrossFit Games winner in the uh, no leg division, offering to send Taylor a week of seated programming if he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Pool boy uh, throwing salt on the womb. Um, I almost beat him. Uh, Bill, what's he going through right now? His, his eyes aren't even open. No, there's so much pain. When you run yourself into the grave that hard, um, you literally don't care about anything. So right now, like if anyone would say, hey, do you think you might have to redo that for semis to make it into semis? They would get nothing but the biggest F you finger right in their face because he doesn't care about anything else right now. I mean, everything now, hurts. There is discrepancy with Jason's time because we're getting – uh stuff in the chat where he had two no jumped, reps but he right. only redid one one right and so if he only did 49 jason would have to redo i think or it would just penalize the, him a second or two right they probably have some uh, formula for that dude crossfit has done uh, stuff in like major penalty 10 percent with stuff like this they're they no uh, one rep come on they would just give him a penalty they've I been know. so trash about this stuff before though they're i agree with i agree with you guys they're inconsistent I, yeah i agree with you guys but i've just seen major penalties from like something so stupid uh seema beaver uh i think that's what he uh he want i think that's why he wanted to wait another year to go to the games he knew his fitness level he knew his fitness level going in referring to uh taylor he he did not say that he had made no commitment to semifinals or even mentioned it as a goal uh esc sounds never seen anything like Taylor, uh, Blade Walker, always good to see you, buddy. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for your service. Thank you for keeping the streets in the Bay Area safe, as safe as you can. The wackadoodles. Uh, that was so sick. Uh, Mike Halpin chiming in. Always good to see Mike. Uh, not with one rep, it would be a minor penalty. I, I understand that, but what's a minor penalty? John, you just got owned, baby. Uh, 40, 40 <laughs> seconds. Mike Halpin. You know, they say a minor penalty is 40 seconds. That's a lot. In this workout amongst the elites like he'll be fine with semifinals but it's that's still a lot of time that's not a, you know it depends what they think what they deem a minor penalty it wasn't a hug but colton merton just gave a love tap to taylor as he was uh carried off these guys know they're not going to kick a man when they're down like that no way no way I, you know what's you want to know what's insane is how exciting 150 50 burpees were <laughs> well you know with all those guys with the pacing that they were pushing watching them actually you know uh race back and forth it's like it's like watching a horse race where you just see like these creeps up and down between you know jason and colton and dallin and taylor and just watching what was happening with Taylor. like all of that who would have thought you would have had that much excitement and bought in burpees uh, let, let me let me let me throw this out there i wonder what jr is gonna say about the about that like are we assess we didn't even think about that are we going to assess a penalty because pool boy says if it's 40 seconds then down wins the 5k i'll give him a nut tap uh who uh oh for the penalty Jason, fair for the penalty yeah fair enough uh, kevin ganey uh member for three months thank you buddy i appreciate it every dollar counts uh he did the reps a penalty for one rep maybe not maybe no and i think we all agree jason deserves the five thousand dollars i like, agree too it's it's i think jason was better in that workout it doesn't matter what the penalty ends up being at all um for the sake of our competition i think jason should win uh wad zombie hit that like button everyone I, I agree. Everyone should hit the like button, um, but uh, subscribing is not for everyone. Don't think it is. Most but of you can't handle it. it is for anyone. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Trevor Gentry, no, Taylor will still qualify. All of his other scores were so impressive and will be extremely high. Even finishing this one when he did is a good score. We have to keep in mind who he was racing against here. Incredible. It's for, top 40, 40, man. 40 is, is that, a small number. It's, it's, is that yeah, Taylor's you, mom? Is that Taylor's mom? <laughs> Where? Me? I'm not a woman. No. But thank you, though, for clearing that. That has been something I've been wondering for a <laughs> long, long time. Ladies and gentlemen, you know who's paying the bills. You know who we love, even before they paid the bills. We couldn't be happier. Born primitive. Every morning, we wake up knowing what's at stake. Freedom. 
Honor. Duty. This is more than a mission. It's the oath we took. It's the flag we wear on our sleeve and everything it stands for. We don't do it for money, glory, or fame, but for something deeper. It's for our families, for our freedom, for our way of life. And to anyone who tries to take that away from us, good fucking luck. Mission is complete. Training is never over. We are constantly honing our craft and sharpening our axe. That is the warrior mindset. This isn't just a brand to us. We're a part of these stories because we've lived these stories. And while we might have hung up the rifle and body armor one last time, our new mission is to outfit our nation's heroes with the best apparel on the planet by the operator, for the operator. To those still standing on that wall, we salute you, the damn few. Born primitive tactical, for those who defend. As Justin Collar would say, fuck yeah! Listen guys, pick up your phones, pick up your phones, hit the photo button. Pick up your phones, hit the photo button, click on the QR code, and you, Savage 20, get the Born Primitive shoes, or you could be like me and JR and get the joggers. They have an incredible site, beautiful site. Savage 20 will get you $20 off. Everyone's wearing them. You should too. Uh, you are anything but a gelatinous sack of shit, and uh, I couldn't be more dumb. Uh, consistently than anyone else in the commentator space. Uh, thank you once again, Jason, for giving me consistency and clarity in my ability to predict things. What were the comments saying? Fuck, dude. Everyone thinks you're a god. $5,000 from CA Peptides. Thank you, C CP. What? <laughs> C <laughs> CA Peptides, five CA grand. Peptides. Thank you so much. This was an amazing, awesome event. Dude, you are wonderful. Thank you so much for uh, making it exciting. Thanks for trusting us with uh, your image and likeness. And, uh, dude, you you are a stud. You, Dallin Colton Taylor, did an amazing job promoting this event. It, it, nothing. No, I would change nothing. Everything was perfect. Well, I would like to see Colton with the money. But other than that, it's been <laughs> perfect. He does get some money. Hey, how are uh, we doing? The uh, These boys tied. How are we doing the, the prize? Uh, JR, JR, we're have to bring JR Howell over uh, to figure that out. Um, JR, uh, maybe you guys could uh, call him over and we could figure out who's going to win it. Hey, Colton, one person, each of you won one workout. Uh, does that give you, what does that, what, what is that, what, what do you have to say about the workouts this week, Miss Mertens from Teeny Weenie Dogs? Um, and it's not super surprising. All these guys are really good. And when you get a workout where, um, the movements kind of fall in your favor. It's really hard uh, to beat any one of us in that. What? Did you want to wrestle again? <laughs> did you Did you guys see that wrestling match? No, we saw nothing. nothing. I have. I, I have to set the I record straight. I have to set the record straight. Jason, tell him what happened. I was stretching. I saw you. I came up to hug you, and you put me in a headlock and threw me to the ground. You were not. I was getting my gym bag. Did I not come up behind you and give you a hug? I wouldn't call it a hug. You grabbed me, and then this, what did you say? I love. Do you, you feel that lump you in said, my hand? You said, "What do you do if I if I get you like this?" <laughs> uh, Eric I, Weiss, four ninety nine. Great week. Well done, Seven Podcast. Trevor Gentry. Hopefully, Hopper truly amazed me this weekend. Congratulations, brother. All four of you and the whole crew made quarterfinals. One to remember annual event. Uh, that's a, one event at a time. I might be too rich annual, to do this dude. shit next year without these people. I suck it up, sweet. This is Jason's best online competition ever. 
<laughs> just because it was uh, live. Just because it was live. <laughs> um, uh, Hopper, same question for you. What do you think about the fact that each one of you won one workout? I mean, I think it shows that we all have great potential in, in a lot of different areas, um, and we all need to be aware of each other and each other's strengths. Uh, Dallin, same question for you. Uh, great programming, great week, uh, great great choice of athletes. I mean, could this have gone any more perfect? Yeah, I don't think you could have picked four better dudes um, for the fans and everyone watching, but also us. We had a great time hanging out together. Um, and, I mean, we're, we're all very fit, and I think we have some top scores all around on every single workout out of the four of us. Um, it was a good time. And, and, and I want to say, when Dallin says uh, you couldn't have picked four better dudes, there really isn't any picking that goes into this. These are four guys that I have relationships with that have allowed me to have relationships with them throughout the years, and these were just late-night texts to all of them. And so it's like, hey, would you do this? Would you do this? Would you do this? And everyone just says yes. And then we ask Will, can you set it up? And Will says yes. Then we ask John Young and Bill, can you commentate it? And it's just all late-night texts. There is no uh, – this is just relationships. And uh, it, it's kind of crazy because you guys are four uh, – at the top where everyone is so close, you guys are pretty four distinct uh, athletes. Did any – were any of you able to see – let's start with you, Colton uh, – uh, Taylor Self uh, fall off the box onto his back? I didn't see it. <clears throat> JR told me about it. <clears throat> and uh, hey, Taylor's just a wild man. Uh, Hopper, did you see that? I didn't know. Just not Dallin, you were, fa you were facing him uh, when it happened, I think. I thought he was done. And then I laid down as Colton stood over the top of me. And then I looked back up and Taylor was still going. So I was a little bit confused. <laughs> I, I'm going to, I'm going to, can you guys see a screen? I want to show you guys this, uh, this fall. Can you guys see a screen? I don't see anything right now. Do we have to uh, press something? Uh, yeah, we here, here you go. Here you go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, maybe, oh, let me play it at regular speed. Maybe you heard this, Jason. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? No. No. That's on par for him. Taylor's goes, something different, man. He goes dummy mode. and that <laughs> is, that's, that's not even being it. dramatic either. He, like, just failed a box jump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honestly, I don't, after the workout was over, I don't think he opened his eyes, uh, I, I don't know, for fucking 10 minutes. I, we never saw him open his eyes after I mean, the workout I, I was took, over. I took an ice bath for like eight minutes and then came out here and he was against the wall with eyes shut still, so. I think he's what? in the ice bath right now. Did, did Dallin or Colton take an ice bath? No. Uh, Judy Reed, uh, be sure to subscribe and follow all of these athletes. Buy the stuff from the companies that supports them. Yep, I agree. Thank you, Judy. Uh, Barry, thank you for the, mo for the money. Um, are, do any of you plan on doing any of these workouts again? We'll start with you, Dallin. I think I'm going to do the gymnastics uh, Monday morning back home. Um, yeah. And is there a reason for that? Are you concerned you might not make semifinals? Or? Uh, no, not that. I just want to solidify under nine minutes. I know that will put me in the final heat. Oh, okay. Like that kind of thing. And so I know and like I know I can do that kind of thing. Oh uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, before you go, Hopper, about answering that question, Matt O'Keefe. All these boys were yeah. super impressive. Congrats, studs. Matt O'Keefe with the Fraser profile picture. Um, <laughs> Hopper, are you redoing any of these? No, I'm not. Uh Colton, are you redoing any of these? Uh, I might do redo the gymnastics on Monday. Hey, you already know that. Uh, maybe. Uh, look at, uh-oh, rumors are getting out. Oh, wow, rumors are getting out. SEO truth, Colton is not human. I've declared it. 69% hey. wiener dog. <laughs> you, guys, you guys think Taylor will still make semis with that score? Yes. Yeah. Oh, even with that score? How do I know what our score is worth? He was 19 minutes. Um, Jason, well, let, yeah. let, me br let me bring up something that does not affect your $5,000, but something that's very interesting. Um, you you finished the workout at 1622, and your judge told you, I think, hey, you need to do one more. You jumped off the box. What we think you what we think we saw happen is you jumped off the box twice, and yeah, we were that's, that's what I'm hearing. And so we were contemplating whether CrossFit's going to give you. Mike Halpin says they're going to give you two second penalty, but some other people are like, fuck, what if they give him a 10 10 percent penalty? Then I win. <laughs> get to the important stuff <laughs> uh, you you will you will still get the five thousand dollars from us regardless um 10 percent is pretty aggressive yeah it, it, it does seem pretty aggressive okay uh, can did, we get I, I did the 
there was two reps they're saying I did wrong, and then I did one. So it's really they would it would only be one rep that they would penalize. Correct. Um, did you know how did that happen? You thought you were you counting in your head, so you just thought you were done. I guess I like shuffled off. Maybe um, I don't even know what happened. They I just laid on the ground. They were like, "You got one more," and I did one more. But I don't even know what happened. I was so dark, just black mode. Uh, Matt yeah, O'Keefe. I want to know your splits. Uh, real, real quick here, uh, coach, coach uh, to T self. Uh, just go. It's not like you're going to fail a box jump. Oh, is that something Taylor said? <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Uh, can you guys, before John uh, uh, throws a question in here, um, we need Jr. at some point to come on and tell us who took second place, who gets the two thousand dollars, Dallin or uh, he just came hey, over to me and Colton. Split. I w I'm okay Wait, with that. <clears throat> but, me um, and Colton are going to split it, tied for second. Oh, we're, that's what we're going to do. But I do want to say, just for bragging rights, in strongman, when you tie, you get a half a point. I think I should have got an, a half a point, an extra <laughs> half a point. You can just play rock, paper, <laughs> scissors, just for and the winner of rock, paper, split scissors the money. gets 2,500. <laughs> okay, so it's 5000 for uh, Jason Hopper, the winner from CA Peptides, and then uh, $1,500 each for you guys. Is that what we're, what we're doing? And then $1,000 uh, for Taylor stuff. Okay, John, please. What? Go, oh, you were going to oh, you know your splits? Um, Hopper had the fastest what? second round by far, uh, 523. Everybody else slowed down tremendously, and he didn't. But then he kind of blew up on the last one. He had six minutes on the last round. Colton was the only one who negative splitted. He had a second round of 536, and the third round was 535. Dallin was a steady decline the whole time. Uh, and then uh, Colt, or Taylor, last round was eight minutes and 24 seconds. Oh, before you guys say anything, Will Brandstetter, can you take the portable mic and camera, or at least the mic, or maybe even get on an iPhone and log in so we can talk to Taylor from the ice bath? And look, I see Will Brandstetter on his feet, taking the headset off, putting his life at risk, approaching Taylor's self while he is uh, wounded. Okay, hey, here we hey, go. Um, what all did you guys get from this weekend? I mean, obviously... You know, Jason, you were talking about how you've been working a lot on weaknesses. You haven't picked up a barbell that much. And, and honestly, dude, you were, I, I don't know, this is some other Jason Hopper this weekend that we've seen compared to what we were expecting because every single one of us put you last on this last event and you blew and all the of gymnastics our doors off. Event. Like, and it was unanimous that you were the most impressive athlete to us. Completely different. So what did you get from this? Uh, Colton, same thing for you and then you too, Dylan. Like, what are you guys pulling from this to work in from quarters to semis? Because we are still early in the game season. So where are you guys now as far as, like, changing stuff? Hold, hold that thought real quick, Jason. Uh, Will, what did you get from – are we going to get uh, Taylor on? Yeah, Taylor, I don't think in the uh, right state to currently talk. Uh, that's he exactly looks, what we'd love to see, buddy. He's covered <laughs> up currently. Must see TV, I can, buddy. Oh, we, I can show you, yeah. Uh, maybe send talk. maybe can send Caleb a still picture. Okay, go ahead, Jason. Uh, what did you get from this weekend? Thank you, Bill. Great question. I mean, the last entire year has been a, a whirlwind of emotions for me. Uh, a lot of ups and downs. Closer to your mouth, please. Closer to your mouth. It's, it's so close. Um, <laughs> I mean, last year it was what it was, and I, you know, I got done with the the season last year, and I had a I had a lot of things to figure out mentally and emotionally and you know physically and you know to get back on the, the right track and um you know there was there was there was seasons of in that last you know 12 months or nine months where i was like do i still belong um can i still attain these goals that i have you know the whole nine yards battling those thoughts and so you know leading up to this event um you know quarterfinals i know it's not it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but it does matter for me because, you know, I, I wanted to really the whole, the whole mantra for me was I, I wanted to remind people of who I was um, and the, the capability I have. And it's, it's not predicated on my fitness now isn't predicated on anything from last year. And, you know, I know, I know a lot of people think that, um, you know, they bring in last year's results into this year and they're like, oh, well, you know, but it's just, it was, it's, it's completely different. And I wanted just to remind people that, you know, I'm, I'm still, you know, I, I'm still able to, to reach these goals I have. Um, and so I feel like that I got what I got. The thing I got out of here was just reassurance of that, you know. Was that, that, was that reassuring other people or was that reassuring you? It was reassuring me because, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking that, you know, 
I think that I still belong, you know, I, and I'm, you know, going through the, the days here training my, you know, my ass off. And I'm like, hey, like, I still want these goals. I still want to be the fittest man on earth. Um, and But at the same time, I let last year linger. You know, I let last year still get into my head a little bit. And I feel like um, it's easy to get caught up in people's highlights. And, you know, people are, you see the media talk about a lot of people and, you know, polls are early game polls and all this stuff and you know you're not in them anymore and you have been for the last three is that years, you up there john that's, is that you up there <laughs> that's, that's, i don't know what that, he's talking about man that's, that's stuff, that stuff gets in your head man um hey you, you were know. on the mountain shut up hey uh, uh, <laughs> but, but, but before we let dallin and colton answer this question uh, you're looking at colton mertens on the left 18th fittest man walking the planet today jason hopper in the center took 31st at the crossfit games last year and then on the right dallin pepper the fittest man in the united states took fifth place at the crossfit games and then taylor self who's not here who's still recovering is the baldest man in the space uh a gr great question uh, bill could you recap it for uh, colton and dallin yeah just uh you know this is an early part of the season uh we saw a lot of interesting things from all you guys you know you you all said different things colton you were talking about your grip uh dallin you were talking about kind of your strategy how you were going and if it if it worked or didn't work based on what your fitness level is and jason working on your weaknesses and not so much your strengths and like like we said you came in i mean i Yes, you won the competition. I would put you as MVP just because of how different you executed everything. And you completely effed up my Heat 1 app results totally, completely. So whoever voted for you on everything is definitely going to get a lot of money there. But um, what did the weekend do for each of you guys as far as, like, going back? Like, like Colton, what are you going to be pulling from this weekend moving forward? I think really I gained a lot of confidence this weekend on – just a lot of things that I've been working on that Joey's been helping me with, and we've made huge progress on a lot of things. I think um, the biggest thing for me that I need to work on is I need to fix my rope climb technique, and I think you know that'll fix 50% of the grip issues that I was having. Um, grip is something we've been focusing on hard, but you know we've only been together for a few months, and that's going to keep getting better. I mean, I think if I fix that, I can perform a lot better on the gymnastics workout. Especially since that's a workout where it has several of my best movements in it, and you know, it just also um, just shows me like how big of that, how big of a hole I have or deficiency with the rope climbs that I need to fix. And I think that bled over the next day a little bit with my grip fatigue limiting me on the next workout as well. But um, overall, I feel really fit. Um, nutrition, working with Amy has made a big difference. I feel as fresh today as I did on day one. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna continue with those things for the next few months keep getting better and i think it's going to be a great showing at semifinals you were the uh, only one walking around after that last event so obviously he the doesn't feel lactic there. acid bill oh, uh, hopper's <laughs> latest video with his wife is great i recommend watching it wad zombie 499 uh dallin my, uh, same my wife question. is awesome my wife is awesome she helped me um perform this way this week so congrats to her too uh dallin oh uh, takeaways from the from the week from the weekend um yeah i mean it is great to be competing with such high level athletes got some confidence in a couple things and then um, each season I tend to have like a weekend of some sort whether it's a training camp where other athletes are in town and maybe I get beat around a little bit more than I expect in certain workouts but I expect that to happen one or two times a year and um, Matt and I call those checkpoints and at that point we adjust the programming a little bit we've already talked about what we want to do um, we'll just make some minor adjustments when it comes to movements in the past that I've always been pretty strong at that we haven't been touching on because we've been so focused on other things um but yeah we'll just start throwing those in more and then focus on grip that's been something we've been looking at like last year's programming and what we were doing different this year in terms of uh grip strength work and we found what we were missing um and so we're going to start throwing that stuff back in and it's just little things uh all four dudes are absolute class acts great entertainers great athletes good dudes going to be some big fan favorites at the games that's for sure trevor gentry i was never not a fan of hopper but this weekend made me more of a fan really for all four of them these dudes putting cf wow. uh, on their backs casey saunders uh for taylor's ambulance bill thank you uh cory pueblo according to sev on cory pueblo oh pulido pulido cory pulido gave five hundred dollar gift certificate to born primitive uh, from the audience. I don't even remember who won it, but congratulations uh, to who to uh, who won it. Um, any, uh, I know all of you took this on um, uh, just like a text, late night text message, and then just write, wrote back, yes. Um, 
do, do are all of you happy that you came? Do, do any of you have regrets that you came? I wouldn't change it. I don't have regrets. And, 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 go anywhere. <laughs> uh, fantastic showing. Are you guys surprised? Could you imagine um, if I was like, y'all could do it? I'm just going to work out on my own here. At my own let, gym. Let, let me let me ask you let me ask you this. This is a little bit of a harsh question. You guys are games games caliber athletes. You guys have all been to the games. The man not sitting in the seat has not been to the games. Is 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 that the distinction between um, you guys? The way you do your training. He says he trains about three hours a day. Um, is is there is is there something different that you guys do? And you and like Colton said, <clears throat> he feels as fresh as a daisy. Jason, you look fresh as a daisy. Look, you look like you have never even done a workout. Uh, this week um is there a distinction between what you guys do and just what someone does who just trains really hard i think that uh i don't know if taylor knows this or not but he's gonna be a real threat this season i think that his knee injury has actually probably helped him a little bit mentally just with taking the pressure off himself and focusing on his business and his personal life a little bit more to take his mind off constantly um, fixating around training and recovery and things like that. I think that wears him out a lot mentally and probably hurts his performance. But I think if this year, if he can, you know, stay focused on his business, um, you know, his wife, his dogs, and use those things as distractions from competing and just have fun with it, he's going to be a major, major problem this season. I don't, I don't know if Taylor knows that or not, but you know, that's the truth. <laughs> Perfect wow. timing, and there's Taylor self. Um, it looks like he's being held hostage in Gaza. Is that live? <laughs> oh my God. You guys did him dirty. <laughs> uh, those are very, very uh, uh, strong words uh, coming from Colt Mertens. No one knows of the three of you, uh, Taylor, better than um, uh, Jason Hopper, longtime friend, training partner of Mr. Self. Uh, thoughts, uh, thoughts, Hopper? I mean, I've always thought he had the, a lot of potential. Um, you know, we've been training together for the last uh, four years, and so if there's anybody that knows what he's capable of, it's me. And the dude works hard, and I think he is a he's a threat. He's got some. We all got some stuff we got to work on. Uh, for him, it's obviously his his uh, his squat stuff, and because of his knee. And I think there's a there's a mental barrier with that as well. It's not just physical. It's it's a it's a mental thing with his with his knee as well, and so um, once he gets over that hurdle, I think the sky's the limit. Uh, D D Dallin, uh, the difference between um, someone who trains three hours a day and just wants to be s just super elite versus what you guys are doing. I train three hours a day too. Oh, we all train not. three hours a day. Well, do so. I think some of you train even more, right? No. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think people have it that mixed up nice. sometimes. Okay, um, tell us, Dallin. School us. I don't know what Taylor's training looks like um, entirely. I know he is testing stuff for Sentinel, right? Um, where maybe he, he is focused on his members that are working through that and that he's coaching, he's testing those workouts and he's trying to create programming for the masses where um, for me personally, I know I'm only doing things that I personally need to work on. And that, that could be a very minor difference. Um, again, I don't see Taylor train every day. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but that's something that comes to mind. Uh, Trish, will you all be friends after this? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Colton, I love you. Thanks for coming out. Hey, Colton, is that Thanks true that Fisa Goffey hugged you? I got more respect for Colton yeah. after this weekend than I did before, and I had a lot of respect for him before. Uh, uh, look at look at Colton's already protecting against the headlock. He's like, don't do even this. think about it. Don't even think do about it. it. Don't hey, break the computer. You're gonna make Zach Tellender uh, really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> unsettled, unsettled. <clears throat> Colton, yeah. did Fee, did Fee, did Fee give you an un um, a, a hug with no warning, and, and, and did that freak you out at all? I don't think it was with no warning. I think I don't know, probably after she got done with the workout, I said a good job. But yeah, Fee will hug you after any word said to her. <laughs> no matter. Hey. What. Did you guys watch the ladies go, and did that influence your uh, approach to that final workout? I showed up late. They were just getting done. I was watching the live stream, um, but I didn't change much. Yeah, I watched them, but um, <clears throat> it's hard. The workout's a little bit different for men and women, depending on like the weight changes or things like that. But um, he's a pretty similar athlete to myself. 
Um, so I was able to kind of see how she would do things and take some some learning from that. Uh, Colton, did you break up the final wall balls more than you wanted to? Yeah. You did. And can, can you tell us what happened? When do you make that? When do you make that call? That 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 shift. I mean, you still obviously won the workout and had an amazing time. But when do you make that shift? Uh, fifteen fifty six, maybe. Whatever John Young says it is, it was. You were fifteen fifty five. I predicted fifteen fifty four, and you were fifteen fifty five. So I'm a little bit upset. You couldn't get one second faster. That would have been great, but. What Sorry. was Jason and what was myself? Uh, Jason was sixteen twenty four, and you were right at seventeen down. Um. Uh. So, uh, going back to you, Colton, when did you decide? Is it just in the moment? You're just like you just can't hold, stand the pain anymore. Yeah, but he's basically the rep before I stopped is when I decided. Um, I was just kind of getting to that point where I knew, like, I could do a few more reps, but those are going to be really, really costly. You're right at that red line, so I just dropped it. Tried to take a keep my breaks pretty quick and keep moving through them so I could get back to the burpees and push those pretty hard. And Jason, you got off the wall about three or four reps before Colton. Um, did you think that you were going to be able to win that? Uh, I I have no idea where Colton was. Um, you know, I. Since he was, I think, two points behind, I was only worried about where uh, Taylor and Dallin was. But I knew I could see in him in my, in my peripheral, so I knew he was ahead by, you know, a few reps. But, no, I wasn't concerned with him. And, and Dallin, did you try to catch Jason? I was trying to hold on the whole time. We got off the first set of burpees exactly the same time. Um, then, I mean, based on how my legs were feeling, I didn't really think there was a chance I was trying to hold off Taylor at that point. That's where the race became. And, and is this the kind of workout that like nobody wants to do again? If, if there was one, if, if you look at these four workouts and you're like, okay, you have to do three of them again, would you guys choose this one? Just not based on your scores, but just based on the uh, the filthiness of it. Yeah, this one's boring and long. That was, it was it was bad. Yeah, this was the most difficult one. Awesome. It takes a lot of focus. Like that was that's that's one of the hardest parts. Like when yeah. you're hurting that bad, um, you have to give a fuck for a yeah. long time to. Yeah be in that discomfort and keep your focus yeah give me explain to me what that means your focus you mean not not let your mind take over and tell your body to stop yeah just keeping disciplined with like your rest breaks and also in the box with the step down standard reminding yourself of that because um, once you get to that point where you kind of shut your mind off um you start doing just the things that you're used to so it was difficult at times where like you get on the box and you almost jump off but then you have to remind yourself to step down and that's also just a little bit more time under tension with your legs and stepping down like that and um, just, yeah, staying focused and making sure that your squat depth's good, the ball's hitting the target and things like that. Hey, you had a lot of breaks, Colton, on that last set of wall balls. Was that because you needed the rest or because you were trying to prep for the, the close on the burpees? It was, it was more so trying to make sure I had a good push on the burpees because I knew more time could be made up there. And uh, my cycle speed is pretty quick on a wall ball. So I think, <clears> like, hypothetically, if... If I did two breaks in the beginning set and these guys did one break, I'd probably finish still at the same time as they did. Um, so I knew I <clears throat> had that going for me. So just trying to keep the break short and keep my uh, body in a position where I had a, had a lot left to give on the burpees. Hey, when you guys do take a break, Dallin, when you do take a break, is the duration of your break uh, measured in breaths? So you're like, okay, this is a one breath on the wall balls. Is this a one breath break, a two breath break? Do you start counting your breaths? Yeah, I usually try and give it, like, one big exhale and then right back to it. Um, it's more just like a quick I, – I do it more based on a shakeout and a one exhale, and then maybe there's a couple extra breaths in there. But um, just getting back to it as quick as possible. Yeah, same with you guys. Is, is it based on breaths? I'd say so. I'd, you know, I just step back and get right back to it. All right. Uh, any questions, final questions, John? No, just thank you guys for doing this, and we have a – Pleasure watching you. We yeah. thank y'all for doing this. This was awesome. Uh, Crazy we, successful we have, uh, quarterfinals. It. Taylor Self versus the world brought to you by Born Primitive. $5,000 from CA Peptides to Jason Hopper. Jason, don't start fucking texting me like every fucking five minutes asking me where your money is, dude. I'm putting interest on it. Listen, <laughs> you just be chill. I don't even know. I don't even know where. The, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get you the money. It just sounds good <laughs> on the show. You'd be fucking cool. You'd be cool like Dallin and Colton. Before you text me, text them and be, ask them, have you gotten your money yet? All right. All right, thank you. Uh, Bill Grunler, any final questions? No, nah, you guys are great. You guys put on a show, and, man, it was fun to call you guys. So thanks for all that. You guys did awesome. Uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate you being here.
Thank you guys. Thank awesome. you everyone watching. You. We couldn't Thank do it without you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you, JR. Zach Tellender, you're a dork. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we are at uh, Taylor Self versus the world. Uh, we did not get to see Taylor. We will have Taylor on tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the quarterfinals uh, super show. Uh, wow, we that that's as, that's as fucking good as it gets. We fucking did it. We're the best. We're we're the best. Three of us are the best. <laughs> now, I, I will, dude. I, how many shows have I been a part of? That was so fun. Yeah, thank you. It was thank so you for saying that. just like raw, and real, and unfiltered, and fun. And man, like we couldn't have asked for a better show from those guys. I mean, they in, made it really easy. Yeah, they in, did. In 15 seconds, you guys will hear John Young's final words. <laughs> John Young. All right, I just want to thank everybody for uh, watching us. I want to thank Savon for having me and Bill. Uh, Born Primitive for making you're, this possible. Because you're welcome. It's not possible without Born Primitive and CA Peptides. Um, and then the guys were awesome, and Fee and Lindsay were awesome. I, I just don't know. I don't know how it could have been better. I, I The only thing I regret is taking a picture of my yarn table because my <laughs> <so> <laughs> People didn't make fun of my TV so much. Oh, that needs other, to be a clip for you too. Other than that, uh, I had a, an amazing time, and I, I'm excited to see how they score. The only thing that can make it better is if somebody hits 270, because then I will, uh, it will make my day. But other than that, uh, it was awesome. It was amazing. Uh, you guys, uh, Taylor Self versus the World Born Primitive is officially over. We will now hang out with you guys like normal people for a few minutes. Uh, if anyone wants to stay on, Caleb Beaver is running the back end. Uh, will Brandsetter, Tyler Watkins. Uh, call lines are now open if you want to just fuck around. Uh, we will hang out and decompress. Okay. Show's over. <sighs> Good job, guys. Fucking A. We killed Great job, it. everybody. We killed it. So, Taylor, so bummed, dude. I we're wish still... we could have had a camera on you guys in the background. Live? Yeah, we we're all, we are live, right? Seven? We'll do that. Yeah, next. we're live, but, okay. but, but like no like uh, like I'm gonna be normal now. Okay, good. <laughs> You're not gonna have your born primitive your born primitive voice on? Is that what it is? No, no, not my born uh, primitive voice. I wish I could have seen you guys working in the background. Just just to have like a just to see. Because the you guys hidden, did a great hidden job. MVPs. You guys did a great job. Because we couldn't say camera? anything if y'all weren't top, updating us. That was maybe Tyler's first time on a on a camera and he, he was killed it. Maybe uh, camera, I just constantly was like looking at Will, like, am I doing okay? Am I doing okay? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you're live, Jeffrey. Go ahead, Jeffrey Birchfield. Hey, man, I just want to say this was the most incredible media circus I have ever ever seen. <laughs> thank you. Was. It was freaking thank awesome. You. From Texas. Well, thank you, Jeff. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. <laughs> thank you. You, That's you racist, are the Sam. new age of CrossFit. Well thank, well, thank you. I can't wait to see you at the swap meet Sunday morning. Maybe we can get a coffee and you can tell me how great I am. <laughs> the new age of CrossFit. I'll CrossFit's 52. I'll, <laughs> I'll see you over by the used horseshoes. We can compare our horseshoe collections. Yeah, and we can throw some cornhole and drink beer. I love hoes. Yo, Jeff's a good guy. He volunteers <laughs> at a... Don't play into it, Jeff. Don't, the don't, don't let neck it up. Oh, here. Tyler, you could come too, Tyler. <laughs> you could get some too. I'm offended. Hey, Jeff, it means the world to me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support, man. I see you every morning. I love you to death, buddy. Same here. Y'all take it easy. All right. Thank you. See you, Jeff. Hey, Will. See you. Bye. Will, Yo. Um. Uh. how long does it take to set all that shit up to, to all the cameras and all that? Um. I mean, this time it was fast because we only had 25 minutes. But <laughs> we had everything laid out before that. So, so that the final episode of Taylor Self versus the World took twenty five minutes to set up. No, and Will, you're supposed to say like three hours. Yeah, sorry, it took a, <laughs> half the days here at three a.m. And and, and how many go. times there have you go. set it up and broken it down in your life? Uh, I mean, it was very similar to what I did for the Open, so maybe four times. Four times in your life, and and you've never done live productions before. No. And and you're and you're on a PC. Yes. Jesus Christ, I'm going to throw you in the hey, bucket uh, no, John's no, no. TV. I have a Mac at home. I have a Mac studio. I have both. <laughs> Melanie Hodge, thank you guys for making me the most unproductive I've ever been. It was amazing. Well done, everyone. 
Thank you, Melanie. That's a JY barbell athlete. Oh, Dang. You must be strong. Repping right there. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Seven, I'm going to hop out. All right. Cool, brother. Thanks for everything, Everybody, Bill. thanks for watching. Thanks for having me on. You're the man, Bill. You guys Later, Bill. It. You guys you, crushed Bill. it. I did, I did want to ask, uh, Bill, if um, – what? what? Okay, here we go. Last question for Bill All before right. he splits. Um, you've done a lot of productions. Yeah. Half million dollar, million dollar, two million dollar productions. Big um, shows. At, at any time were you annoyed or like, man, this is janky or this is slow or the camera angle's fucked up or anything like that? No. Um, the the nice thing was is that the numbers of athletes were down. So as far as getting footage and being able to actually see the athletes, that it, it was it was easy. I mean, usually like when the 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 play by play and the color commentators are, are commentating there's a there's a button to talk back to the producer to look around and see what camera angles to get because you want to get in lane three or lane eight or whatever um and we didn't really have that but even when we did like with will we were saying you know it'd be nice to know how many reps so and so like those are like the hints that you would throw out to kind of get the camera person or the mic person or whoever's going to be getting us that information so the fact that we were able to pull it off so simply and smoothly at that um where it didn't interrupt what we were doing as far as calling it was awesome yeah you no know, it was yeah. that's it was, a good point we're at a huge huge advantage because there's only four lanes and yeah, we can get everyone great. in one shot yeah it was great During all right well well thank you, you guys did for, awesome thanks for thanks, stooping Bill. down to our level coming down to the no uh I'm, the old, I, I was just honored to be track. at your guys level for sure you demand thank you bill right, across inferno thank you buddy thanks bill during the wall or the rope climb muscle up workout, uh, I wasn't in the room and I couldn't even see where Souza was with his camera. And so I was just like hopeful every time I would switch to his camera. I was also running the board, which I had never done. I was freaking out about. But I was just hoping every time I would switch to his camera, he was like focusing on something that was important. So <laughs> during that workout, I'd flash over and I'm like, shit, he's not on anything. A flashback. You were you were amazing yesterday, Tyler, and and all the numbers you were giving us were uh, absolutely fantastic. But more importantly, what people want to know from you is when will we know? Uh, who who do we have to wait until CrossFit certifies all of the scores, and that's how we know when when's the twenty five hundred dollars? I was thinking about it a minute ago. I think once all the athletes submit their scores, all of ours are pro athletes, and I don't think they'll get dinged um that bad and so i think we'll know as soon as the last window closes to submit scores okay and then um just so you know i don't know how you're going to give the money away but if uh uh tebow 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 if tebow wants to do it uh, live um he's welcome on my podcast anytime to give away the twenty five hundred dollars that go uh, generously put up for the biggest prize ever, ever that the um heat one app oh sorry someone was calling from a foreign land and i didn't even hear it i don't know what's going on I missed the call. Dang. Uh, JY barbell question. Um, John, how many days is your barbell barbell programming days off lifting versus uh, CrossFit class? I try to accommodate to the person's goals. So most of if uh, we will talk like 15 minutes on a Zoom call and figure out what how you like to train if that's four days a week, five days a week, that type of stuff. And then my main system or my main program that I get for people to get stronger with Olympic lifting, uh, it's meant to be done and then you can do the CrossFit class. So maybe like during the strength, because a, a lot of CrossFit classes have strength first and then a, a Matt Connor or whatever like that, or you show up like 20 minutes early, you do my stuff instead of that, and then you can do the CrossFit class afterwards. And, it, and it's usually, it's three days a week for my main like, what I suggest for most people, but obviously I talk to everybody first and get, make sure you get your goals and that can differentiate for everybody. I don't just program barbell stuff either. I got a games girl in the master's program that I'm straight up her coach. Um, straight just, up. just so you guys know, uh, at five o'clock tonight, uh, scores for two of the workouts, correct? John's workouts one and two will have been yes, submitted sir. to CrossFit. The leaderboard will start populating. One hour after that submission window closes at 5 p.m., we will be going live on the Seven Podcast. I will be here with uh, John Young for sure. Uh, hopefully, we can get Taylor Self. I'm not sure what Tyler's doing, but it's going to be a party. I believe Andrew Hiller will be here, and we'll start look coming over the scores, and uh, it'll be a party over here at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, here we go. Hola. 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 Hello? 
Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Can you turn off the um, computer Hello, in the background? Up, we got a call from Spain. Can you turn, yeah, turn off the oh, computer? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Um, hey, how are you doing, man? I'm Jose. I'm calling you from Spain, man. I've been watching the stream for, well, I watch the, the podcast every single day. But I'm watching the stream, and you guys are crushing it. I do the commentary in Spanish for the CrossFit game, for CrossFit España. And, dude, this thing that you guys have done, we have to bring it to Europe some way, somehow, we, we got to make it happen. Like Will and Tyler, you guys are teaching the mothership how it should be done. And I know I'm taking as an example, and I want to like make this happen somehow. Antonio you, means the world to Love us. Love you, Antonio. It, yeah, means the world to us um, to hear from you all the way from Spain. We're glad you liked it. We know you have a ton of great athletes over there in Europe. You have a, a ton of great athletes in Spain. We would love to do that. It, in, 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 it, in, you know, with the technology today, would be so easy. And coming from uh, Spain's commentator for CrossFit means the world to us. I'm, I'm glad you liked it, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. I didn't even know the internet worked over in Europe. That's so okay. cool to hear. It is cool. It is anyone of you coming to Lyon for the French showdown semifinals or not? Uh, we don't have any planes left in the United States that can make it there in one piece, or else we would. <laughs> cool. Hey, guys, so if you ever plan to do anything with European athletes, tell me in, guys, um, and that's it. Antonio, will you DM me your phone number so I can add you to my WhatsApp so I can stay in touch with you? No, cool, but I'm not Antonio. I'm Jose. Oh, oh okay. Jose, Jose. <laughs> I'll DM you. Jose, I thought he said Antonio. I don't know. I was wondering where he got that from because I didn't hear him say it. Oh, all right. Yeah, Jose. I didn't hear him Sorry. say that either. I was just piggybacking off of you, Sam. Li listen, Jose, Antonio, <laughs> Rodriguez. What's your last name, Jose? Luis. What? Luis, Rafael. We're all the same, right? Yeah, you're all the same to me. Yeah, you're Jose, all the same. Luis, Rafael. <laughs> yeah. You're just a good looking version of a Mexican to me. I said it. I said it. Exactly. Well, actually, I'm from Venezuela. So, yeah. All right, even better. Wow, you left the women of Venezuela. How long have you been in um, uh, Spain? Man, I've been in Spain for the past eight years. I took my level one in Miami. I took my level two here in Spain. I did my level three here in Spain, and I started working for CrossFit. I spent myself like four years ago here in Europe. How did you choose Spain from Venezuela? Were you fleeing just the fucking chaos of Venezuela? Is that why you went there? Good, because... Because we had a fucking communist dictatorship for the past 30 years. Yeah. Hey, dude, I got to get you on the podcast. I'd love to hear about that. People in the United States need to hear about what you guys went through. Man, I had to I had to see my country because I was kidnapped with my family and stuff. So I have my family all spread out around the world. I have family in the States, in Chile, uh, here in Spain. So it's normal for Venezuelan people to do it like that. All right, hey dude, you got to you got to DM me. I got to I got to have you on the podcast. I got to talk to you. I got to see your face. Sure, man, sure. All right, brother. Thank you so much for calling. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Hey, can you understand when Tyler Guys, talks? You can you understand when Tyler talks? I understand when Tyler talks, but he needs to open up his mouth a little bit more. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's the south. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I would I would Bye, Jose. Bye, Bye, Jose. Bye, Jose. Bye, Jose. I, I would hate for my voice to be translated into Spanish subtitles. I cannot believe what that would end up sounding like. You should translate it into Spanish and put a, a speaker in each of the piggies. Perfect. Sp Spanish speaking, you know, John. You know, it's crazy. Um, I, there's a Venezuelan couple at my gym who said the exact same thing. Like they left because of the government. Say, yep. say that again. Say that there's, again. John. There's a Venezuelan couple, and his name is Jose too, uh, Steph and Jose, and they went to Miami from Venezuela, and then eventually they moved over where I am in Texas because uh, of the government. Like the government was really, really bad, and they they were like, we had to leave. Yeah, Steph listen, Cohen, people, you keep voting in these fucking socialist fucking morons into office, and we're gonna end up just like them, taking the rights of the individual and giving it to groups. Don't think it won't happen here. Anthony TPA, did Friendly pay his media pass dues to CEO to be present there pirating is against the law? I don't know what you're talking about, but um, thank you for the money. You can say anything you want if you give me five dollars. Oh, uh, <clears throat> give uh, Sergio Antonio Jose Jorge the uh, Born Primitive gift card. Oh, my goodness. You guys ready for this? 
Oh yeah. Let's Coffee pods and wads. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coffee pod. I've been holding that in all show. Coffee pods and wads. Uh, Caleb, you pick them. You've been. Yeah, Caleb. You haven't really been pulling oh, your geez. weight. Do okay. something, dude. Yeah. Two hundred dollar yeah. gift card to Born Primitive. You savage twenty and get uh, twenty dollars off. Just anybody in the chat? Yeah, anybody. All right. Hold on, let me uh, in the chat. It's hard because <laughs> I like know these people. Let's see. Um, pick a new friend. Uh, pick me. How about Harley Mom two two three? Wow, nice. Harley Great Mom two two three. Uh, so you get a two hundred dollar uh, gift card from Born Primitive, courtesy of Pedro Pedro White, uh, part of the network. He has the show uh, around the whiteboard every Wednesday. Dear friend Pedro, he was on the show this morning. Uh, his YouTube channel is Coffee Pods and Wads. Finally got it right. And uh, contact uh, DM him or uh, DM John or DM Caleb or DM me or d start DMing us until you get your uh, gift certificate. That's awesome. I love it. Don't right. DM me. <laughs> Don't DM Will. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Uh, we will see you guys tonight. Anyone have any final words? Thanks, everybody, for playing on the Heat 1 app. Well said. Uh, we will see you guys at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. John, Caleb, Will, Tyler, 